God forbid, I just forget how to do everything every single time we people, do this. People miss the activate Windows thing, so I think it's fine. I'm confused as to where it went, because I still haven't activated Windows. <laughs> Maybe it just gave up on you? I think so it just, just gave like, up. Ah, all right. Fuck this guy. He's not bad for it, boys. Pack it in. <laughs> you outlasted it. Like, one day you're finally going to click through the WinRAR trial version thing, and it's going to be like, yeah, we give up. It's <laughs> fine. It's just free now. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Well, welcome to Well, There's Your Problem, uh, in, in a podcast uh, about engineering disasters, which uh, has slides with it. I, I'm Justin Rosniak. I'm the person who's talking right now, and my pronouns are he and him. Uh, I'm Alice Caldwell Kelly, my pronouns are she and her, and we have replaced the activate Windows thing with a Discord is sharing your screen <laughs> notification. Oh god. Oh, that's uh, terrific. Yeah, I just realized I'm not recording my screen. That's ah, not a big deal. Um, ah, oh, sorry, we start over. We start no, over. I, I don't need to, we don't need to start over. We just need this thing to so record cool. the right screen. Maybe if I do this, and there we go. Now okay. everything is right with the world. Okay. You also you, you need to hide that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Finally, I am <laughs> Liam Anderson. I am at <laughs> Old Man Anderson on Twitter, uh, and I actually just wanted to take a second to address some of the uh, the criticism that's uh, that's come to our podcast. Oh, this should be good. Because we don't, we apparently, well, we don't, well, we talk about death flippantly, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do do that. I'd also point out that uh, we've gotten somber more times than one, the MS Estonia disaster, and certainly Grenfell Tower, where you and I talked about this feeling that nothing's ever going to change, and the kind of grim reality that we as societies can accept this kind of death. Yeah. And, um, and and then it was just born like, out for the next year or so. So that yeah. was cool. Yeah, uh, topical. It's it's an engineering disasters podcast, man. And like it's a it's the whole thing is that we make jokes. There are serious scholarly discussions. If you want them, we are certainly not the only medium through which you can learn about these things. Uh, if you don't like it. Uh, I guess go to hell simply because that's a, a piece of criticism made not in good faith. Because when people have talked about, there was someone who talked about uh, the Hillsborough disaster and was uh, and asked if we could next time we'd show something graphic like the the picture of the people kind of pressed against the wall. If if we could you know throw out a content warning or something, and that's absolutely something we can do. But like to tell us our podcast's format in and of itself is bad and like not. Not what you want. I have no advice for you other than just don't fucking listen to it. Yeah, well, watch the U.S. Chemical Safety Board videos because very seldom on those are they like, look at this dumb asshole. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, uh, unbeknownst <laughs> to the worker, uh, a crew was attempting to put out the anfo fire with cum. <laughs> <laughs> If only they had advanced radio communication. Uh, <laughs> but there was, there was a guy. There was a guy uh, who uh, is apparently has forty years experience in engineering, uh, and called all of us the c word. And then once he was <laughs> done doing telling us how immature how immature we were, and he was done calling us the c word, uh, he he was just like, now that I'm done doing that, I have a suggestion, and I want to say to you personally, dude. <laughs> you could cut that if you have to, but I. <laughs> if, if we're gonna explore anything in this, it's that nothing that anyone who has been an engineer for the past forty years has built works. Yes. So, <laughs> so fuck that guy. <laughs> he probably did everything we're gonna talk about. Yeah. Yeah, I assume that guy personally was responsible for Chernobyl. So thanks for nothing, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a heavily pixelated image. Uh, yeah, a I delightful little visual that we've left our audience to it watch. It just looks like shit. Yeah, it looks it like a big pile of shit. This, I mean, the, the disaster we're about to talk about is, I, I would definitely put it uh, up there with um, one of the more comical disasters 
<laughs> yeah, we're, we're not doing a very bleak one. Do three dogs died in this, I think. So, uh, oh, way to go, guys. You, you're not uh, being serious enough. Uh, welcome no. back to Jokeless Podcast. I am your only <laughs> host now, Liam Anderson. <laughs> Having killed and eaten the other two hosts, I will now take you on a visual tour of this, this brackish lake in Louisiana and how Texaco did nothing wrong and we should be grateful to our corporate overlords for mineral extraction and resource extraction. Distraction. Thank you, Masters. Thank Liam, you. Liam, Liam, you're popping off tonight. Yeah. That's amazing. I am not in a good fucking mood. Vote, vote Joe Biden. No, no. Vote Joe Biden no. to keep this no. podcast on the air. Uh, we need more disasters. God Give us dude. your money, Mike. Hey, man, you yeah. act like you're the fucking front runner, you dumb piece of garbage. <laughs> so, somebody asked when I was doing research on Twitter, which is how I do all my research for these. They saw I was doing. You do research? Yeah, kind I thought, of. Do you not just crib the Wikipedia I, 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 notes? I thought that's what we did. I, I appreciate the vibes I get from Twitter, and so I was oh, asking about. You're a moron. Got it. Yes, because I'm a moron, and so I got, I was trying to appreciate the Louisiana vibes, and I someone was like, "Oh, you're doing a Louisiana one. Are you doing Katrina?" And I was like, "Oh no, no, no. We are not doing anything." that serious. This yes. is a very silly one. Yes, uh, that said, this will be the last fun episode ever. We're gonna do a 12-part miniseries on Bhopal <laughs> in which we tell no jokes. So, uh, eat dicks. Alright, so, what you're... <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all having a rough time with this primary. I feel fucking great. <laughs> I'm I'm still not fucking over Janelle Monae endorsing Liz Warren. That one hurt me. Oh my god! Drop out, Liz. Drop out. Drop um, out, Liz. Right. Right. I, you know what's Drop funny? Out. I actually we're talking about this, and on my home screen is uh, the story of a decades long lead poisoning lawsuit in New Orleans. So we will also not be doing that, but yeah. we'll revisit that. Yeah, uh, Lu Louisiana is a very, uh, very engineering disastery place for reasons we'll get into. They do a lot of waterworks. Have you ever been to New Orleans, Alice? Uh, no, but I married a guy from there, and so oh. like I, I get some of it by osmosis. Ah, uh, okay, that's right, because your husband is Cajun. Is that right? Uh, Creole, yeah. Creole, uh, my Creole. bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, okay. uh, but yeah, he he was he was like explained to me that like yeah, there's just like a hotel in central New Orleans that just has like a couple of dead guys just hanging out under a tarp because it collapsed and they just they didn't move them or anything. They just kind of went up there to put a tarp over them. I gotta say, if you can get up there to put a tarp over them, you can probably retrieve the bodies. That would cost too much money. We have to worry about the shareholders. Un unless they're like load-bearing bodies now. Y yeah, and the thing is, it's like green boots on Everest, right? That guy is a navigational landmark by that point for climbing <laughs> the Hard Rock Cafe. I hate oh, the fucking God. Hard Rock. <laughs> Alright, so this- Bring back the ESPN zone. <laughs> this has gone so badly off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this thing on the screen here- it, 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 you you can't lake, tell what yeah. it is really. This is it's shit lake. This is a lake, <laughs> and these things are barges. This is lake. Oh god, I'm not even gonna help you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's I I think it's Pena. Like um, ch check this out. Shake hands with Pena. Shake hands uh, with uh, Pena. I, I'll, I'll add I'll add the riff. Thank G you. Can we, can we have your rights? <laughs> Please also yeah. include you saying in the most defeated voice I've heard from you in weeks. <laughs> I'll include the riff. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Lake Pena, uh, which which is is a lake in Louisiana. Okay. Mm. So for 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 in order to explain what's happening here, we need some context. So first, we're going to talk about salt mining, mm. right? Extremely the, cool, like uh, striations and patterns on those walls. Big fan of that. Oh yeah, yeah. Salt mining creates like cool stuff, right? Mm. But like salt. Th that's and that's where the and podcasters, because that's where I work all day down in the salt mines. <laughs> yeah, down in the salt mines, and then the salt comes up to the racism factory where I work. <laughs> yeah, and then we're we're very good at uh, at, at at putting out uh, power, say at Three Mile Island, or pick a coal fired power plant. Cause coal's the future, baby. Yeah, yes. I, I love to I love to like uh, power my podcast from the Centralia fire. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just hook a turbine up to it. It'll be yeah. fine. So <laughs> salt mining uh, historically has been very nasty work, right? Because when you're working in the salt mine, you're in contact with a lot of salt, right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, salt dust kind of completely desiccates your body. You get a lot of high sodium. You get high sodium intake from, you know, just ambient salt dust in the air. You thought you McDonald's know. was bad, folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the reasons why in in antiquity salt was very expensive because you ran through workers so quickly. Yeah, they used slaves a lot. Like the Romans uh, used to mine it in uh, Spain, I think, in Iberia, uh, along with like tin and stuff. And we y y there's a nice little through line here from regular Iberia to new Iberia. Yes. So yeah, nowadays salt mining is very uh, mechanized, so you know it doesn't kill you as quickly. Small miracles hmm. because of this, of course, and because salt naturally forms in what we call salt domes, which are just big, you know, dome-shaped formations underground. You can mine out very large caverns like the one we're looking at, mm -hmm. and then also salt mining usually happens pretty deep underground. Uh, so it's usually shaft mining. There's not, you know, like open pit salt mines as a general rule. Yeah, you either collect it like from the ocean, like a, a, a sea salt pit, or you just like dig out a big shaft, right? Yeah. Although it's all sea salt. Like when they say sea salt as a distinct thing, it's like, no, the salt in domes or whatever used to be under the sea. Yes. Hooray for tectonic movement. <laughs> Our unappreciated co-host. That thing we didn't know existed until like 1990. Which is absolutely fucking insane to me. Yeah, it's I love wild! The it's wild, like, it's one of those things that you, you just like, I, I never really got my head around the idea that if you're a generation older than me, you just didn't learn that shit in school, because it just wasn't discovered or theorized yet. I, I didn't know that we didn't know that the, I thought tectonic movement, I, I, I didn't know any of this. No, I we, was uh, until like, yeah, this our is lack very of knowledge. Recent. It, until like 1990, we just kind of thought that the Earth was just like vibing. Uh, it was just like chilling, um, and like maybe it like stressed in some ways. But the idea that there was just rocks just floating around on a big lake of magma, we no clue. Bizarre. Uh, okay, I'm just buttoning in here in post production to say that uh, plate tectonics were actually generally accepted by the mid to late 60s. Right. Back to the podcast. Yeah. Anyway, because because of the, the salt mining, you know, you, you have very large caverns usually. And, you know, since people got a lot of free time, you know, the these caverns are sometimes decorated like this one in Poland. Oh, cool. Uh in, in Wilichka. It's it's basically a cathedral of Who salt. Says the poles aren't good for anything. Yeah, well, why do the poles build giant cathedrals out of just like stuff that they find around? Like, there's one made of bones, and I'm just like, okay, cool. But what's the most Polish thing you can think of? Big, big cathedral made of made of bones. Besides pogroms, I guess. Screen door submarines. Oh. Uh, the, the library with one He's book. He's Polish. He's Polish. It's fine. I'm allowed to say this. I have Polish ancestry. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just like. I, I feel like here we need some like Minecraft footage or something as you're explaining <laughs> digging Rock, salt go. out. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that'd be smart. So another thing about salt mining, which is uh, interesting, is and will be relevant, is that in salt mining. Water infiltration is a bigger problem than it is in other kinds of mining because what happens when salt gets wet? It, uh, it, it does the thing where it doesn't be there anymore. Dissolves. Yeah. Dissolves is the word I it mean. It becomes part of the water. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering how my night's going, I forgot the word dissolve. <laughs> no, it's okay. It could be worse. For more background, we also need to talk about oil drilling. Yeah. All right. Two two great extractive industries. Yes. Two tastes that taste great together. Ah, uh, yes. Oil and salt. Although to be fair, the way you used to uh, test the quality of crude was to, and uh, I'm not joking here, stick your finger in it and taste it. Hence, Texas sweet crude. Hmm. The yeah. sweeter it is, the gooder it is. It's like it's one of those things that seems like it should be a myth. Like when the cops like taste the cocaine to to find out that it is cocaine. Uh, uh, I, <laughs> I, I I finally figured out why that is, by the way, and it's that if you like rub cocaine on your gums, it numbs them. Yes, so they, topical surgery, buddy. Mm -hmm. Didn't did not know this. Th that was also like something uh, 
something you, you, that geotechnical engineers used to do to test soil quality. It's like, well, one thing you can do is sort of like chew it around, you know? <laughs> but I mean, like hunters do literally just like taste poop too. I, it's kind of worrying the extent to which a lot of our like uh, sensory stuff is just like a guy going, why don't I just eat that? Yeah. Just put that in my mouth. Uh, see how it tastes. Yeah. Yep, it's poop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so oil drilling, you know, we got a, you know, simple concept. You drill a hole in the ground, you get the oil out. You know, sometimes the pressure from the weight of soil or rock above the oil is what just forces it out of the well on its own. You know, that's what a, that's what a gusher is, right? Mm. Um, but we also have, in addition to, you know, a uh, production platform, you can have something like this, which is like exploratory drilling, right? You know, you put down some wells to see if the oil comes up. Yeah, just like punching some holes in the earth to see what happens. Exactly. Like the Soviets uh, did this with the super deep borehole that like is super haunted, by the way, I'm certain. But they weren't like drilling for anything. But like here you're just kind of like, hey, just fuck around, see if you get some dinosaur yeah. juice out of it. Yeah, let's see if we can uh let's see if we can um get something out of this uh out of the ground here. And you know, sometimes you do it in an area where you know there's oil. Sometimes you do it in an area where no one knows that there's oil. That's called wildcat drilling. I, I like that approach. I really yeah. like that. <laughs> just, just like pick a direction, <laughs> pick a random number of paces. <laughs> yeah, let's see if there's oil here. Uh, X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> just doing Dan Brown stuff to like see if like oil field locations are encoded in Da Vinci. <laughs> they are. They are. So, so uh, you know, if you're doing this kind of drilling, though, you you should be aware of underground structures uh, which are around you. You, you yeah, need could, to call could be it... fucking anything down there. There could be like a congressional <laughs> bunker or something. Yeah, that's why you need to call eight one one before you dig. Hmm. Before I, I can't do it after. What if I've already started? <laughs> Gro Gro Grover calling eight one one in the pit of like sewage water. <laughs> hey guys, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the lake. Hmm, Be beautiful browns there. Yeah, beautiful brown. Uh, you see, there's like a little stream that inflows up here, and then it outflows through this canal, right? Okay, so. Lake Lake Panger, uh, it's about it used was it was about ten feet deep, right? Uh, it was fresh water. It was connected to the Gulf by what is it the is it the Dakam? It's the it Delcom, Del the Delcom Canal. Del the, but I went the through Delcom Canal. I, I went through and I looked and I was like, is it Delcamba? Is it like Delcom? Is it Delcambri? Spin the, spin the wheel of pronunciation. <laughs> it, fucking Louisiana, man! I I swear to God. And this is this is located on something called Jefferson Island, right? Mm. And on this island, in addition to this lake, there was a salt mine, right? The yeah. Jefferson Island Salt Mine, which was owned by the Diamond Crystal Salt Company. Oh, hey, I love their salt. Mm -hmm. di di Diamond Crystal Salt. Very, uh, you got big, big, like, crystals. That's what it says yeah, on it's, it's, dead, yeah. It's, it's, it's very yeah. good, seriously. I uh, still swear by it, yeah. yeah it's, now, it's now part of Cargill, apparently. Hmm. Gross. The, the salt mine's uh, head frame was located nearby the lake. They shipped the salt out by barge, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. So the mine had multiple levels. The deepest level was about 1,500 feet below the surface. And they were putting in really big, they were, they were mining out really big rooms, you know, 160 feet wide, 75 foot tall. Mm. Right. Just, just a Polish guy going through there being like, I could fit so many fucking cathedrals in this thing. <laughs> yes. These Americans don't know what they're doing. I don't know why I went with the French there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I, 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 I feel like if anybody would start just building Catholic cathedrals and things, it would be Cajuns. Yeah. Yes. So there was, uh, on top of the mine, there's about 100 or 200 feet of rock between the salt dome and uh, subsurface of the soil under the lake. Um, and then, you know, other details here, there was, there were, you know, lake houses on the shore, um, and the live oak gardens, which are botanical gardens, right? Hmm, cool. I'm, I'm sure they never had, like, any kind of a, like, sinister history, like, big house, big fancy gardens. Don't worry um, about that. Don't worry about that. Louisiana, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. 
it's probably fine. <laughs> so, and then of course the uh, the other thing they do here, in addition to salt mining, is of course this is where everyone stores their uh, boats for going out and getting that shrimp. Shrimp. Love shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> is this one of the places where they do the thing where they like reach into the mud holes and get catfish with your hands, or I don't know. Probably. Probably. <laughs> I, I mean, I I will say that Iberia Parish is home to the World Championship uh, gumbo cook-offs. So, oh hell yeah, yeah, I love that's I fucking love gumbo. <laughs> probably great. Yeah, I, you probably get some alligator in it, but oh yeah, that's fine. Mm. I'm not mad about it. Get that mm. gumbo, gumbo. All right, we're back to this image because it's representative of the sort of thing we're going to talk about. But it is not the exact thing because every single image of this disaster is just absurdly grainy <laughs> and like jpeg compressed and like i i i don't want to I, I don't want the viewers to to you know be subjected to that because it's the there's the it's so bad we have better documentation of disasters that happened like 200 years ago than th this thing but like i mean <laughs> It, it's like Hillsborough again. Like uh, the color came to like the world in different places and different times. High resolution still has not reached Acadiana. So yes, working on it. <laughs> working on it. <laughs> Every single piece of footage has been recorded over. Like uh, has has been copied from three VHS tapes over. <laughs> Just it's fine. It's fine. It's a podcast with slides. Technically, yeah. Around November 20th, 1980, Texaco had set up a drilling platform uh, to perform exploratory drilling on the lake, right? You know, oh, the, the lake with the salt mine underneath. <laughs> oh, Just to good. fuck around and find out. Yeah. yeah. So they had they had permits for it and everything. Because that, that's the kind of thing you can do when when you're Texaco, or when you're any oil company, really, is you can just kind of decide you're gonna, just going to stick a hole anywhere you want. Yeah. yeah. You just kind of be like, so, yeah. Yeah, it's probably yeah, it's probably work. Build build a giant rickety platform, uh, just in the middle of a lake. So they, uh, so this was the sort of thing they were putting up, and you know the idea was we're gonna, we're gonna drill and see if we can catch. I think they thought there were two reservoirs of oil down there they could get, right? For a second, um, I thought you were gonna talk about shrimp again. I was a bit hopeful, honestly. Just like no. a, just a pipeline full of shrimp, yeah. Yeah, you could probably get like shrimp. You could probably fish for shrimp off the platform. Huh. You know, that's sufficient. Yeah, so why not? Yeah, you could do two two forms of economic activity at once. <laughs> um, uh, all right, so they contract the Wilson Drilling Corporation. Dig this well. It's going to go down eight thousand feet, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're looking at a big drilling rig on a wooden platform. Again, much like this at five a.m. on the twentieth, right? The Texaco drill rig uh, got stuck. Right, the hmm. the bit wouldn't move. They couldn't get any. They they couldn't bring up the drill bit. They couldn't do anything. It got stuck. Just, why is the paper jam light on? Yeah, <laughs> it got stuck twelve hundred feet underground. You know, and they couldn't. They 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 had no. Uh, you know, they couldn't even like circulate the drilling mud, which is sort of how you get the uh, you get all the the shit that you're drilling out of the. Uh, Hole. Mm. Um, <laughs> you just kind of like send a guy with a pen knife down there to like jimmy it around a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, you're going down <laughs> twelve hundred feet. Good in luck, the hole. Mike. Good luck, Mike. <laughs> you just send the knife down on like a really long string, and you just kind of yes. like rattle it around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they couldn't they couldn't do anything. They got stuck. Uh, and around five forty five a.m., uh, relief crew arrives at the rig. You know, because of the shift change, and they they notice that. This this uh, drilling rig is doing some weird stuff, yeah, right? Sh shades of Three Mile Island again. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you get you get the shift change in, and then the new guys who haven't been staring at the same thing for like several hours are just like, wait a you, second, you guys you... know about this, right? Yeah, you guys, just, guys. You know it's on fire, right? <laughs> Not your problem. Yeah. It's your problem. I'm going home. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Quitting time. <laughs> Quitting time. 
Ah, it's Quebec Bridge all over again. <laughs> they were getting some weird readings on their uh, the the hook load indicator, which I guess indicates the hook loads. Yeah, the hook load, how heavy the whole the whole drilling apparatus is. Mm. Uh, you know, it just says, it just says like drilling apparatus plus one salt mm-hmm. mine. Yeah. <laughs> so and and it was showing that you know it was starting to show weights which were you know bigger than the entire weight of the platform, right? Mm. Um, one lake. Yeah. <laughs> And at this point, the uh, the the drill rig started listing, you know, about three feet down Ooh. in one quarter. So, hey, you, you don't you don't want that, do you? No. So at this point, the foreman ordered an evacuation. The crew untied two barges. They were using the source and equipment, and they brought everything to shore. Right. Um, meanwhile, some superintendents from Texaco arrived at seven twenty-five a.m. And what they see is the entire rig and the platform it was on overturn and completely sink and disappear in a 10 foot deep lake <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> that's the hmm mm, as not a great feeling I, I i feel like looking at that you're just like oh okay is this cthulhu shit I, we've just like we've dug into we've dug too greedily and too deep we're into fucking yeah now uh yeah we done fucked up we woke up cthulhu yeah. Yeah, you just the, like you expect to see fucking tentacles coming out and shit. <laughs> we we appear to have like wildcat drilled the kraken. That's gone poorly. Mm. We 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 didn't even realize there was a lake monster, and yet here we are. <laughs> I thought this lake was too small to have a monster. Oh well, no, yeah. it's not too small. That's the kind of attitude that gets you fucked in the first place. Yeah, you thought we were just about Mothman? Not true. We're a pro lake monster podcast all the time. They're real. They're real. Lake Chanshi, uh, Loch Ness, you name it. We're yeah, we're there for them. Uh, lake Champlain. Uh, yeah. Champy is real in my heart, man. Yeah. <laughs> and real in real life, goddammit. Yeah, this is true. But I don't know how you'd have a lake monster in a 10 foot deep lake. Uh, maybe it's just really long. Yeah, it's like a flounder. It's like a really flat, <laughs> oh, wide fuck, lake I hate monster. That. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> just like a big pancake with like the both the eyes on one side. Nope, nope, what's nope, a, what's nope. the smallest size a lake can be to have a monster? Hmm, that's a good question. Can you have a pond monster? I'm sure you can have a pond monster. I'm certain you can. Yeah, I would imagine you could. But can you have like a puddle monster? A puddle monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like, I, I mean, fuck, that is what a shrimp is, right? Or a catfish. All the shit that lives in lakes is already kind of monstrous. I fucking hate them. I fucking hate fish. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just like the idea that you're like you're on this oil rig that's like listing over, and you're just thinking, man, I really don't want to see a fucking catfish. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just the perfect way for this day to end. <laughs> <laughs> with with the little like fucking uh, like um, uh, mustache things they have, like the whiskers. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I fucking hate I fucking hate fish, man. <laughs> we've 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 discovered something about Liam here. We've we found a, a a tactical weakness, I guess. Yeah, that's it's for sure. Yeah, that's how you know I'm a bad Jew is because I don't like locks. <laughs> <laughs> Gefilte catfish is that a thing? Could that be a thing? I would I would prefer not to. <laughs> All right, boss will be. While this was happening. And and everyone was getting off the platform and hoping they didn't see any fish on a lake, you know, <laughs> because that's a rational thing to be afraid of in a, in, in alligator con- country. <laughs> Listen, I, I but here's the thing: is I also don't respect fish. I respect and fear an alligator because it's nature's perfect k- killing machine. It's been unchanged for whatever like a hundred million years. Like I, that. That I get. Like that I'm fine with. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine admitting like, you know, you know, fucking fucking alligators. Because that's an I apex can't. predator. You know it's not a fucking I, apex predator is a catfish. And even I so it just cannot. looks at this dumb fish eyes. I'm just like, oh no, motherfucker. I don't want any of this. I cannot I, express how much I love the sentiment I do not respect fish. <laughs> 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 just 
going to the aquarium so you can insult them. He's being like, look at this dipshit. Oh, yeah, I was I was in the National Aquarium uh, for for uh, my friend Megan's birthday. Uh, we were in Baltimore, as mentioned, and they're all doing like the touch tech, and I'm just like, mm, 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 I'm not, no, 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 no. That shit killed Steve Irwin, and he was a fucking professional. Like, hell no, man. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate fish. <laughs> oh man, do you know octopuses can remember individual people and dislike them? Not a fish. Uh, also, oh, why funny. I don't. Also, why I don't eat octopus because I respect hmm. the intellect of octopi, octopuses, <laughs> whatever it is. Oct- octopodes. Yeah, I. I've like mm-mm. octopodes I, nuts. I don't. I don't, I don't like. I don't like uh, eating creatures that are probably smarter than I am. I do not respect fish. I do not believe <laughs> they are a, a prime example of any of God's creation. I fucking uh, don't, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. So, meanwhile, all right. In the salt mine, again, this is not the exact salt mine. This is a representative picture because there are no pictures of the mine, even ones that were incredibly grainy uh, and bad. So, so it's just a tribute to a salt mine. Yes. Yeah, just salt mining in the abstract. Actually, you should you should madden this. You should do a little like diagram of like the, the drill going down. Oh, oh, yeah, very good. So at 7 a.m., 48 workers and three visitors from LSU. Uh, Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Entered the Jefferson Island mine, right? It takes them about an hour to descend down to the 1500 foot level, which was the main Oof. working area of the mine, no, right? Th- again, no, thank okay, you. Well, now, 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 now we're uncovering my thing, which is like, I have been in uh, at, like the workings of a coal mine before, and uh, like, I'm okay when I'm down there, or I was the one time. I wasn't like thinking, oh, hey, there's like a several kilometers of rock above me. Uh, but like the way up and the way down where it just takes forever, and you're on an elevator that is not moving slowly, it's fucking going. And you're just like, how long is this? Like 10 minutes? And they're like, oh, no, it's like an hour and a half. And you're just like, Oh, uh, okay. Uh, cool. No, Great. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, guess I'll just go fuck myself then. <laughs> yeah. Just, just time to time to play like my sixtieth consecutive game of tic tac toe on my own knuckles as I like <laughs> slowly rend myself apart with anxiety. Yeah, it's cool. I feel that. I felt that in my bones. <laughs> so, plus you might see a fish down there with this shit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I, just fucking, I just fucking hate this. <laughs> so, uh, Junius Gaddison, right? Who, who is an electrician? That is a hell of a name. Yeah, yeah. It's an extremely Acadian name. <laughs> Love that. Yes, he was. Uh, he was working at the thirteen hundred foot level of the mine, right? And he spotted just suddenly a two foot deep stream of water approaching his uh. workstation. Right? Ah. Uh. He's like, hmm, that doesn't look right. <laughs> Yeah, just like, um, as it passes my workstation, it becomes like a two foot one inch wave of water, and some of it's kind of yellow. Yes. Uh. <laughs> so, he, he he immediately sounds the evacuation order, uh, or alarm, right? Which is just to flash the lights on and off it in the mine three times. Oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just... That's fucking terrifying, the idea of, like, you're just in this cavernous, empty space with the fucking acoustics and shit, and, like, maybe you hear, like, a fucking wall of water in the distance, and then the fucking lights go out, Yep, and then, like, start flashing. Fuck that shit. No, absolutely Those not. Those for right to. <laughs> <laughs> like, great, now there's a lake monster in here. Yeah, probably a bunch yeah. of fish, too. Why do you do this? Why do you fucking do this? I don't fucking come into your room and talk about a vertigo and shit. Somebody's gonna have to update the TV tropes page now. <laughs> I do not respect fish. I don't fucking like them, man. I just don't, I just don't fucking like them. No, I don't respect fish. <laughs> I know someone who refuses to eat shellfish just because they're bottom dwellers. 
Look, that's I'll eat shellfish. Like it, I just they, like whatever. I don't love looking at lobster, but I'll eat a lobster. I just I just don't want any part of looking at a fucking catfish. I don't want any part of looking at a fucking flounder. I fucking <laughs> say I just I fucking hate the way fish look. I don't even mind snakes. I just fucking hate fish, man. Those bastards should just stay where they are. I'm fucking sick of fish. I just, I don't fucking like them. How do you feel about the, uh, the the Catholic thing of being like, if you have to eat fish on Fridays, you just like declare beaver to be a fish? Yeah, that's how I would fucking do it. I, I, I think they like called some birds fish too, because they I, ate fish. I could do fish sticks. I can do fish. Too. I gotta fucking look at a fish and if it's in stick form. <laughs> what if what if the stick form has like a one of those googly eyes stuck to it? Oh no! I hate that. <laughs> I do not like fish. I do not like to put them in my body because I do not uh, respect them as a species of animal. Are, 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 are <laughs> yes. you doing? Are you doing Pennsylvania Secret Service voice or are you doing Bernie voice? I can't tell. I don't know. I bet Bernie likes locks. This is true, yeah. <laughs> Which is why you should vote for Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Jack, the fish is in, in America is one of mom Joe Biden's husband. <laughs> Malarkey. <laughs> How the heck are you All gonna right. pay for that? You voted for a two point three trillion dollar fucking war, Joe. <laughs> you never told me how you're gonna fucking pay for it, you dipshit. <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, so they 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 start evacuating the mine, right? Someone mm. on the lower level actually had to get in a truck and drive out to the furthest parts of the mine to pick people up who had been working outside the range of the lighting. Oh, I'm getting oh, anxiety no. again. Yeah. For, for, first of all, like, outside the range of the lighting means they don't have any warning until, like, a guy in a truck shows up and is just like, hey, if you don't get in the truck, you're gonna, like, fucking extremely die. Yes. Uh... Uh, this is cool. Also, not going to be thinking about the prospect of like leaving anybody behind by accident. Uh, also, not going to be thinking about like I don't know, you miss somebody or something. And like on top of all of that shit, the guy driving's like, I'm never going to get this truck back. Oh yeah, <laughs> it just sucks. So like, what if maybe you really liked that truck? What if it was like Liam's van? Uh, speaking of never getting shit back, mm. <laughs> some guy is buying it allegedly. Oh boy. Yes, uh, the podcast worked. We did it. That's us. That's us. <laughs> just just buy a must collect from bottom of flooded salt mine. Yes. <laughs> so the workers were ankle deep in water by the time the cage elevator made it down to the thirteen hundred foot level. Um, nope. 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 Yeah, nope. Yeah, nope. Yeah, nope. Yeah, hard nope. No. No. Shit, swimming around and shit. No. 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 <laughs> Just, just doing the Simpsons thing with like Millhouse's flood pants, <laughs> but you're like several miles underground yeah. with like one elevator that like could go wrong at any time. That's cool. That's cool to me. Uh, after like the first trip down there, uh, evacuation from the 1300 foot level was abandoned, and everyone had to walk up the big ramp to get to the one th the 1000 foot level. <laughs> Nope. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. Yeah, mm -mm. Just mm -mm. three hundred feet of ramp. Uh, in the dark, presumably. Yeah. With like no no elevator. There's like a floating truck going past you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Your coworkers are presumably uh, drunk out of their minds because. Well, of course, <laughs> it's Louisiana. <laughs> like Thibodeau's got a hip flask or something. Uh, hit. Yeah. Hit. It's it's ever clear, but he made it himself. Yes, he did. That takes a little such a rattle, such a rat rat rat. Couple you have a taste. Of. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> fucking sorry. I hate this. Go on. So a few people actually came down from the surface to try and find the source of the water, and then they realized this is stupid and dangerous, and they went back. Um, they tried to do the Chernobyl thing of like turning off the bubbler tank in a fucking flooding salt mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Well, no, good, don't, good don't, don't, good don't, don't like good that effort. one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just, just, just thinking about the kind of mind that produces the thought. Yeah, I'll, I'll go down there into the the giant salt mine, which is flooding and the walls are dissolving, and uh, and I'll go and like I'll just put my finger in the hole or whatever. It's like. Everything uh, is slowly turning into a Leonardo da Vinci painting, but not in a good way. <laughs> not, not, excuse me, no, the other guy, fuck, impressionist Bali. guy. Oh, no, uh, Edvard no. Munch. No. Like the scream? I'm thinking of the scream. Ah, uh, the scream works. Yeah, I could go with that. I was. Uh, what's his face? 
Vincent Van Gogh. That's who I'm thinking of. Oh, okay. Of course. I, 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 you know, that, that art history class did not stick. Not like the architecture history class did. You know, the Dutch pronounce it von Hoch. Wow. Dumb country. Fuck, I fucking hate the Dutch. Fuck fuck off. (laughs) Fuck off. They're the one who they're the ones who have the racism festival every year, right? Oh uh, fuck the yeah! The, the, with the, oh. the no, yeah, it was Belgians. Oh, yeah, it was but Bel- they had okay. the like yeah, the Dutch uh, do it too. I fucking hate the Dutch. <laughs> well, the the Dutch do the blackface thing, but as far as I know, it's only the Belgians who do the like dress up like Orthodox Jews thing. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks it's, guys. It's, Way to prevent the Holocaust, you dipshits. Yeah, it's real bad. Real, real bad. Um, and also, they had guys just like dressing up like Nazis, and like that was cool. People were like having beers with them and stuff. Uh, oh, you remember how this went for you the last time because it wasn't so good. <laughs> <laughs> Gar- garbage country uh, sink Absolutely. the whole thing into the Zyder Sea. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, but Amsterdam is. Me, 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 me. Shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck about Amsterdam. Also, also, while while we continue to mix up the Netherlands and Belgium, worst colonial <laughs> power, pound for pound. Yes. Uh, like no shit, Britain. We did we did a lot of fucked up shit, but like Belgium for a tiny country, did Far easily the yeah. the most baroquely evil shit in the Congo. Absolutely like diabolical. Uh, you should go fuck Belgium. King, King Leopold's ghost, if you haven't. Yeah, <laughs> fuck Belgium, fuck Belgians, fuck Belgium. the Netherlands for being next to Belgium. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, go on, go on, moving swiftly along. Everyone was mm-hmm. safely evacuated from the mine by nine o'clock. Safety procedures <laughs> sometimes work. Sometimes. Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> mm, still, still too uncomfortable for me. I'm, I'm thinking about like fucking lost cosmonauts and shit, and I'm like, are you sure? Are you really sure? Because if I like, if somebody's gonna fucking go diving down there with a camcorder and they just find like a parallel society has developed that's evolved gills because they left one guy behind and he like mated with the giant flounder or whatever, <laughs> you know, you know who I'm blaming, and it's 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 fucking Texaco. So. Oh. No, well, I, also I, the Dutch, I blame yeah. the guy who made it with the fish for respecting fish enough to mate with them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, oh asshole. god, it's, it's, it's like that. It's like that one sea shanty about the guy who like uh, his girlfriend's a mermaid and he dumps her for the other kind of mermaid because like she doesn't have a pussy because like the lower half is all fish. So he switches for like a, a girl with like the human lower half and a fish head. <laughs> Yes. It's on, it's on, I think, the Dreadnought second album, yeah. if you're curious. Yes, like I, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the ultimate example of respecting fish. Uh, we don't do that here. <laughs> yeah. I do not respect fish. I don't! <laughs> I don't see how this is so hard. Yeah. This looks so much like a puddle with some cigarette butts in it. I know, right? Uh, Welcome to Louisiana, son. <laughs> because it's just such a bad picture, but it's the only one that's like online. Yeah. So, all right. So the lake's water level started dropping pretty rapidly, and a quarter mile wide whirlpool whirlpool formed at the location of the drilling platform. Right. So there were a few boats on the lake. They all managed to get to shore. Before the shit really hits the fan, right? <laughs> Just getting the ultimate rowing machine workout. Yeah, exactly. Just fucking pulling <laughs> with this bullshit behind you. <laughs> uh, but there were about a dozen salt barges and a tugboat, and they got caught in the whirlpool and just completely disappeared. No one was on them, but you know they they disappeared. Big, big suck back again to the atmospheric railway. Just imagine the noise that that makes, like the kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do you think they all like? Do you, do you think they all just like clump together and then they get sucked down as one, or like do you think they go individually and you just like shoop, and then a few minutes later you're like shoop. good question. We, we we don't know the answers to these things, but we can, yeah, speculate. we can speculate. And I speculate that the the funniest possible thing is that they all kind of slowly bump into each other for an hour and then they all go down at once in one like kind of katamari like situation. <laughs> <laughs> at at this point, the Delcam the Delcom Canal. Starts flowing backwards into the lake. Oh, cool. Yes. Uh, Great. You, you have you have angered God with your hubris. Yes. Uh. <laughs> and now the canal is flowing backwards. 
Yeah, it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to go the other way. Just imagining the like stoic philosopher thing, if you can't jump in the same river twice, uh, you try that once and then the river starts going backwards because an oil rig pumped into a salt mine. Uh, <laughs> and, it just, and it just comes back <laughs> towards you and you're just like, oh, well, shit, okay then. Uh, Emsha was on scene at 10.55, right? And they start to take charge of the situation. Uh, because they're not, they're not pussies like OSHA. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they, they evacuate the area around the lake, and then they decide, we're actually going to evacuate all of Jefferson Island, anywhere where the salt yeah. dome might be. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the best. Yes. Just be like, yeah, yeah, all of this is actually just built on, on salt. Uh, you have to go to the next nearest part of Louisiana, which is, uh, I guess, like, a guy menacing a gumbo cook-off with an alligator gig. Um, <laughs> Alright, now, now stuff starts to get weird, right? Oh, now. Yeah, yeah right now. Yeah. Now, now after, uh, after the giant flounder dudes. After all these years. <laughs> so, around 1pm, you know, we gotta remember, water had been flowing in the mine for about five hours now. Now, before there was water in the mine, there was something else in the mine. Uh, fish. Uh, it's gonna be fucking uh, fish. The, 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 the fucked up, like, uh, uh, troglodyte things from The Descent. No, no, this, this, movie? this is something that's everywhere. Oh, um, uh, mm, the air. Yes. What? Oh boy. Big, 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 big fart. Yes, so because, because of this, you know, the, the air needed somewhere to go to make way for all this water, so... Around 1 p.m., there was just a 400-foot geyser of mud and water <laughs> and mine equipment that erupts <laughs> through the head frame of the salt see, mine. You, that guy sees his truck again and just is coming back up. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all kind of worked out. <laughs> Dusting hands. Yeah. Uh, better hope it was uh, uh, Toyota Hilux. You might be able to drive it still. Yeah, it'll be fine. Mm. Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then around this time, there was another. There was another well which had been driven into this lake before. It was a gas well, and it decided to catch fire. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Slapstick timing. Thematically so, consistent. Yeah. So the surface of this eleven foot deep lake uh, had dropped about one hundred and sixty four feet, and it was on fire. <laughs> It's just, it, it smells like burning salt. It's like covered in like, I don't know, uh, political opponents of Huey Long who have been dumped in there in the 30s. Uh, <laughs> just, a, just a delightful little sort of fucking mm -hmm. Hieronymus Bosch. There, there's your painter. Mm -hmm. Is This is a Hieronymus Bosch ass scene you're describing. Yeah. <laughs> so, the Delcom Canal uh, became the largest waterfall in the state of Louisiana at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, get, get, a, get some, like, once-in-a-lifetime whitewater rafting experiences. Yeah, you, you won't like how, how the whitewater rafting ends. You know, mm -hmm. that, that, that whirlpool means business. Uh, All white, look, listen, you want to go whitewater rafting, I, what we can do is someone can stand in the shower and I'll just throw rocks at you. <laughs> there, there's one water out there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what we should do for a Patreon episode sometime is like the history of people going off Niagara Falls in barrels. Oh, that'd be fun. That's wild shit. Yeah, just like stupid daredevil shit that will get you killed. Yeah, 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 hundred uh, percent. And and like especially when they like over engineer it and you get the, the like ballistic. Uh, sort of like space capsule thing, and then the guy like throws it off the canal, and like because you haven't secured anything inside, just a propane tank hits you in the head and kills you instantly. Good that's Lord. cool. That's yeah, funny that's, to me. That is. That is. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, 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 don't do stupid stuff like go over the falls in a barrel. Just don't do it. Yeah. N never, never go over the falls in a barrel. Uh, never interact with a catfish. <laughs> um, <laughs> never, never fall madly in love with a lake monster of any kind. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, in addition to this, the bulk of the nearby botanical gardens also fall in the lake. Oh, yeah. This sucks. You just, you just want to see some like ferns or something, and just like, wow, they really were paying by the pixel there, weren't they? I Jesus. know. This, this is the, this is the canal going into the lake. 
Ah, but you see, there's, the, there's a thing where there's not a canal anymore. Yes. All right, so it took three days for the lake to refill. Hey, th three mm -hmm. days of rafting, though. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. Once the pressure equalized and the lake filled up, nine of the 11 sunken barges just popped up from the bottom of the lake like corks. <laughs> <laughs> that rules. I love that. Oh, you guys are back. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey. Uh, the, the lake was still on fire, though. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it kind of sucks that they evacuated the whole island. That, like, that's extremely responsible, but I just want someone to be, like, just going to work and just like, oh yeah, it's still on fire. And <laughs> like, hey, but the gi the giant mud and, like, mining equipment geyser seems to be calming down. And then just a bunch of tugboats just get thrown up by it. <laughs> uh, at, at this point, Emsha's going in, they're trying to ascertain the uh, the state of the the, the mine, right? Uh, because mm. there had been this mysterious roaring sound coming from the main shaft of the salt mine, even after the geyser had finished, right? Uh, lake monster. 100%. Probably, yeah. They sucked the lake monster into the mine by mistake. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd be pissed off too. Shit. So they determined uh, through measurements that, that of two shafts of the mine, um, there were different levels of liquid slurry in each one. Right? You know, sort of mm. combination of mud and dirt and salt, right? Mud, dirt, salt, that electrician guy's pee. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, in the air shaft, the slurry level was six feet above sea level, and in the main shaft, it was 216 feet below sea level. Right? That's... Hmm. This, this is a problem, because it indicated that maybe there was a blockage somewhere in the mine which had prevented pressure from equalizing everywhere. And so they thought, you know, at any point, that blockage might go away, might, might collapse, right, and allow pressure to equalize, which would do two things. One of which was it, the geyser would start up again. <laughs> <laughs> the other one of which is the lake might drain a second time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> so you know, because it could be that like part of the mine was flooded and the other part was not, and, and and you know, then there'd be a lot more room for you know water to. I just, I just love the idea that they like this. If this happened, they would have like accidentally constructed some kind of Cajun fried perpetual motion machine <laughs> where like it just it just drains and refills the lake forever yes this louisiana is powered entirely by like a dam built over the canal that's that's smart that's very eco-friendly mm. as well oh, exactly eventually what they wind up doing is they lower a camera on a remote controlled truck down the main shaft <laughs> neat <laughs> and they get some samples of the slurry right when you say remote control truck, do you just mean like a, a Toyota Tacoma with like I don't know, like like a crash test dummy in it? <laughs> yes. Awesome. <laughs> That's sick. I was so, hoping you had an RC car, and I thought that was going to be pretty cool too. <laughs> no, it's just it's the same truck again. It just goes round. It's like the key, the one key player in this story. If there's your perpetual motion machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they managed to get samples of the slurry, and they determined, no, it's not actually a pressure difference. Um, there's no blockage, it's just that some of the slurry was less dense than the other slurry. Yeah, because yeah. of the P in one of them. Yes. They, they're, they're like, okay, there's not too much danger, we can let people go out on the lake. And, the, and Texaco goes, and they're like, well, we can't do anything about the fire, but we can put a pollution barrier around it to stop it from spreading. <laughs> That's almost, that's cool. good. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they, they cordoned off the fire. It, did, it went out uh, much later, though. <laughs> yeah, it was almost, almost literally they did the towed it out of the environment bit. Yes. <laughs> it's towed outside the environment. We declare this area to not be the environment. <laughs> so... They do seismic monitoring to determine if the salt dome was going to collapse. It did not. Finally, November 30th, local residents were allowed to return to their homes around the lake. Unless you fucking were going to the botanical gardens, I guess. 
Yeah, they the, they lost a, a chunk of property there. I, I would imagine I it was probably that. this here. You know, it's probably yeah. the former extent. So there's a lot lot fewer live oaks, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so um, now this eleven foot lake became went from you know an eleven foot lake to Louisiana's deepest lake. It's like two hundred feet deep now. <laughs> oh, good for them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It it was a saltwater lake now, as opposed to a freshwater lake. Ah, oh, because because of the salt. Because of all the seawater that rushed in. Oh, okay. So it 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 doesn't have anything to do with the uh, the like this all of the salt mine that it dissolved. It's just the the Delcom Canal just sucking uh, the Gulf into this. Yes. Yes. Cool. So you know, theoretically, okay. it will become a freshwater lake again one day from from this little guy here, but you know. That it's going to take a while. Uh, this is brackish mm. now, so cool. You know, completely changed the local ecosystem. No one ever conclusively determines whether the oil well was the cause of the incident because the destruction of the evidence was so complete. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's that. If you're going to do a crime, that is that is the way to do there it. There you go. Is just be like it, it, you have left it mathematically impossible to determine your responsibility. Yeah. Go big or go home. <laughs> No face, no case. It's, yeah. So somehow the mine remains in partial operation until 1986. <laughs> because people have to get their crystal salt. Yeah. yeah. That people have to get, people need their kosher salt, and so you just send the, the people back down there and just like, yeah, just don't go mm -hmm. in that one, because that's full of like, this is full of lake. Yeah. Um, and now part of it is used to store natural gas. Oh good. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure nothing will never ever have to revisit this particular episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean there's no way once the lake catches on fire once it can't happen again. Um, I have heard that. <laughs> you hear people say it more and more. Yes. Yeah. Was this was this Cleveland that the the river caught fire Lo a couple of times? Lots of rivers have caught fire in America, but Cleveland is most famous for it. But yeah, the Cuyahoga has a habit of doing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God! Well, at least at least it's in the hands of uh, the Iberia Parish authorities, who like definitely don't include like an insanely corrupt local sheriff or anything. Oh yeah, uh, it's it's just yeah, it's it's great. It's rural rural Louisiana shit. It's probably um, fine. <laughs> so, some guy has probably been doing the killdozer thing of like mm -hmm. pumping s sewage into it too. Uh, there's I, I don't. There's probably like a bunch of like cinder blocks and shit down there. Uh, it's just oh god. And then Texaco uh, and the drilling company paid thirty two million dollars to the salt mine company and twelve point eight million dollars to the botanical gardens in an out of court settlement. They were like. Yeah, we're not even going to try and fight this one. <laughs> this is probably on us. <laughs> well, it's the smartest yeah. thing they've ever done. Look at that yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Bu buys a lot of oaks, I guess. But anyway, the moral of the story, call 811 before you dig. <laughs> Don't be a grower. Or, yeah. yeah or, or fucking just go to Avery Island, the cooler island that's nearer this where they make Tabasco. Oh, hell yeah. That's a great talk. Yeah. But, you know, mm -hmm. thanks to 811, you know, nothing like this has happened since, except when it did happen again in 2012, when a salt <laughs> cavern being used to store crude oil collapsed about 50 miles east of this, underneath the uh, Bayou Corn. Um, mm. And that sinkhole is just still getting bigger to this day. Um, <laughs> awesome. Doing the China Syndrome shit, just is gonna get all of Louisiana eventually. This this happens to, like, uh, I was reading about, this happened to a lake in Russia, where it was just like, oh hey, like, the village kind of woke up and the lake was gone. Um, Who stole and then the lake? They, they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they, they wisely got out of town. I don't know if there's dash cam video of this, there probably should be. Uh, and, and then it just kind of ate their church. Um, they just a sinkhole, just kind of like sucked uh, an entire like church down into the thing. So that's that's cool. Hell, Satan, baby. Yeah, this is just like definitely not connected to the the again the cola super deep borehole, hundred percent haunted, evil shit, fucked up. We 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 gotta like pour some like uh, burning gasoline or something down there just to like fuck around, flush shit out. Yeah, I was about um, to say that's that's probably a good idea. Would be to 
fill the cola super deep <laughs> borehole with like holy water or something you know <laughs> yeah just like a, like a cement mixer full of, of, of holy water you're just like have just like backing it up and you just like hook the thing into the thing just in case i wonder if you have to alter the water cement ratio if um if the the water is blessed by a priest ah oh, that's a good question <laughs> that's true well i guess if it's like structural holy water like it's, it's load bearing <laughs> holy be load bearing holy I, we need to we, I, when we do the theology episode we'll have to discuss this <laughs> it's the uh, the effect of using holy water in in concrete um <laughs> yeah no, not not a common construction material but i i think a, an underrated one yeah, I mean, you know, that's gonna keep that's gonna keep a lot of a lot of shit out. You don't want, you know, vampires. Mm. Um, yeah, <laughs> mostly vampires, I guess. I don't know what else is really strongly, but demons, I guess. Like, would also... yeah, demons, go ghosts, devils, uh, like things of that nature. Uh, I, I guess like changelings. If you're worried yeah. about like changelings, <laughs> catfish. Uh, catfish it. men, Stop it. like Stop men, men, it. men with the heads Stop of catfish. It. A man fish. <laughs> that would probably freak me out less. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Y'all are fucking great. <laughs> I invite you to eat a series of dicks. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what's what's the lesson from this aside from Louisiana is a silly place? Call eight one one before you dig. Hmm. Um, and also, well, well, what, what if you're outside of uh, the U.S.? Do you do you just like? I, I guess if you're in Russia, just aim a dash cam at it. Uh, like park park your Lada Neva at the direction you're gonna dig, and like get get it running because I want to see the footage. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. There's probably a local equivalent to eight one one in other places. Uh, yeah, like eight one two one zero five four. Like, fuck, I can't think what it would be in Britain. But it, yeah, in Britain it would be like twenty seven digits long. <laughs> yes, uh, it would cut. Co it costs you five pounds a minute to call, uh, and they can't tell you anything. That's that's probably what it is. Yes. Just, just don't dig. Don't dig. Yeah, it's don't, stupid. Yeah, the don't, ground don't is stupid. Ground there's, is dumb. There's, 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 <laughs> don't there's do nothing any digging. good down there. Yeah, ne never, never do any digging under any circumstances. Uh, the shovel is like it's a bourgeois implement, uh, and there's all, there's probably like monsters down there. Probably, there probably like fucking are, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, sa Satan and uh, like all his minions are probably like walking around torturing people like twenty feet down. Yeah. And we've just like kept missing them by accident. But like you don't know that you're gonna be the one who's just gonna like tunnel into hell like in Dwarf Fortress. Yeah. Or, don't or, do or, that or, shit. Or like you know maybe the uh, the. The the secret kingdom of the mole people or something like that, and then you're gonna yeah 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 yeah, or or you find like uh, an abandoned pneumatic railway or something. Or I mean that that's the good outcome. <laughs> or you might find a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what are fossils but just digging up a, like a fish that just got in there? Yeah, you, you dig up a fossilized fish. <laughs> Fossil. Throw it fish. fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just loving the idea of archaeologists refusing to assemble dinosaur skeletons because they don't respect them. This is like fuck this guy. <laughs> fuck this T-Rex shit. This is bullshit. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so call eight one one before you try to assemble a dinosaur. Yes. Um. Uh. Fish. I'm. Um, uh. Bad. Not respectable. Fish. Fish. fish whales. Not, whales yeah. are on fish. thin ice. Yeah. Fish. Shameful. Yeah. Fish are shameful. Fish are shameful. Uh, That's absolutely true. Apart. Apart from lake monsters. Lake monsters are cool. Yes. But they're not fish. Uh, they're typically like maybe like ichthyosaurs or thing <laughs> things things along those lines. Uh, and as such, you know, we respect them. Uh, they're good friends, but like uh, fish, nah, man, nah. Are you, sharks are cool though. Sh sharks aren't fish. Yeah, sharks are not fish. Wait, sharks no, are fish. Sharks are, are fish. Yeah. Are sharks fish? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Right, I gotta not respect sharks too. So no shark week. No shark week. Yes. Um. 
N- next episode will be on the Tacoma Narrows Bridge disaster. Hmm. Uh, no, it's course. like more more water involved. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Liam. But no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. The, the, the Tacoma Narrows has me thinking, right, this thing killed three dogs? It killed three when? dogs. Where, uh, where, where, were, where were the dogs in this? Was there like a salt mine dog? I have no idea. Uh, I would assume they were just dogs that were by the lake. That's just, just, you're thinking, just yeah. by the lake, you're just going for like a walk by the lake and your dog just gets sucked into it yes. while it's fully standing on the shore. Like it just just by like air pressure or something. I assume it probably murdered a few like fish and alligators and shit like that too. Good. <laughs> <laughs> are we saying are we saying here that the whirlpool is like morally neutral? Like it's yeah. a complex anti-hero. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, the mo- probably in that case the most beneficial thing that the oil industry has done. Is just like killing a bunch of fish. No harm, no foul. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyone have any commercials before we go? Uh, listen to Trash Future. We are. I. I'm pretty certain we're an anti-fish podcast, but I will. Thank you for your solidarity. Yes. Yeah. I, we will sound that out, and we'll get confirmation for you before uh, we we put this out, so that you know that you you are safe to listen to it, right? Yeah. And there's mm-hmm. no like pro pro fish content, <laughs> or, like fish propaganda contained within. I hate fish. <laughs> I just fucking hate fish. <laughs> Just looking at like a goldfish in a plastic bag and just being like, you little shit. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> Fucking and asshole. <laughs> the worst part is, the worst part is, you gotta tell it you don't respect it every five seconds because it won't remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see someone with an aquarium and I'm just like, oh yeah, you're a serial killer. I'm gonna. I'll take that hair box. I don't give a shit. I just wa- walking through the pet store, through the fish section, just like fuck you, fuck, fuck you, you, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> you think you're fucking better than me? <laughs> <laughs> the, the Pennsylvania Secret Service guy trying to like tactically to start a fight with a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what what football teams have fish mascots? Because like they're trying to like run up and tackle that guy in like a fish costume uh, the, would like easily be the dolphins uh, are pretty close. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah sure. Uh, the Marlins call them the fish. The Marlins are baseball. Uh, uh and fuck the Marlins. <laughs> And fuck yeah. the Tampa Bay yeah, Rays. Really. Yeah, but basically, <laughs> if your sports team of any kind is named after a fish or fish adjacent animal, uh, you got you got to fuck up the mascot. You got to get in there and you got to throw hands. Sharks are fine. Um, yeah, I respect yeah. a shark. I respect a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Running up to the uh, the the mascot of the Rays. Uh, you know, screaming like you're a Trotskyist, you know, you killed Steve Irwin. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you tell us to stick to sports. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Malicious Compliance Chat. <laughs> All right, so we've killed Justin. Yeah, I was, I was about uh, to unfortunate. say. Uh, it's gonna make me. It's gonna be <laughs> difficult to, you know, edit the podcast on account of being dead from just <laughs> disliking fish too much. <laughs> <laughs> Cause of death: ichthyophobia. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's not a phobia. It's just it, it's just a lack of. You know, <laughs> ichthyo, <lack> ichthyo, <laughs> ichthyomysia. Yeah. Don't show no respect. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, my my commercial is follow me on Twitter at do not eat two. Uh, the Franklin Eleven is coming out. Um, I did a live stream a couple of days ago of some asset creation for it, and I will continue to do live streams as 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 this happens more. Hopefully, did you manage to get the like glass symmetry uh, unfucked? Yes. Proud of you. Awesome. Yeah, it was. It was I'm it, uh, you are a wizard to me because, like, I I saw the stream and I was just like, 
Oh, okay. He's he's just like he's doing some things. He's fucking around. Oh, there's a building there now. It's like how? How? Why? How did you do this? What? What? I mean, most of that stream was just me struggling with Blender because it looks different mm. now and it's confusing. <laughs> God. Yeah. What a podcast! What a podcast we run. Yes. Sorry for us. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe to our Patreon where you can hear me talking and these two jokers mostly listening <laughs> uh, about the uh, the small arms for the 1980s program, which resulted in the worst rifle ever fielded. Yes, it's a good episode about guns, Thank you. which you can use mm. on fish if you so desire. <laughs> you can shoot, shoot yeah, some like fish uh, in a barrel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anti-fish action. That's me. That's me, baby. I fucking hate fish. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, gotta, we gotta call it here before, yeah. before, 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 it's, fucking before this just becomes a, a whole podcast ragging on fish <laughs> as a concept. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, now that I am the last surviving co-host... <laughs> That's me, co-host of Last Resort, baby. <laughs> Des designated survivor, Liam Anderson. Hooray, I did it. <laughs> All right, we good? Mm, I, I think so. Do you want to plug your Twitter or anything? Oh, yeah. Uh, I am at Old Man Anderson on Twitter. Uh, I am Liam Anderson. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, please continue to, uh, to understand that the podcast... Uh, talks about serious topics and also has jokes as people have done throughout pretty much all of recorded <laughs> history see fucking deal no with it. evidence that we ever talked about anything serious on this episode and happy 130th birthday to the fourth bridge hmm. oh yes very nice uh, yeah and like our, our hearty congratulations and well wishes to the like crew who have to paint that shit every six months uh because, yeah, don't, don't want to do that either. Just nope. hanging out over the Firth of Forth and in like a, a bosun's chair, just fucking painting red paint on a thing. I, I imagine it's nice once you get used to it, but I have no intention of getting used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I second that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Fuck fish. Fuck fish. <laughs> <laughs> Go birds. Go birds. Fuck fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right.